Welcome back to my next playthrough series. This time it's The Lost Expedition. I seem to have been winning lately on my channel, and so I thought, let's play something that I'm almost guaranteed to get annihilated at. Uh, so I'm going to be doing The Lost Expedition. I'm going to be doing a solitaire playthrough, and very quickly for setup for that, uh, as you have three health on each one of your explorers, I'll quickly zoom down and look at the player aid. It explains things. We start off with three food, three ammunition, and it's morning. We're also going to start off with six cards. So we'll take the top six cards off the deck. One, two, three. Did I grab six? Four, five. Or did I grab seven? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I grabbed six right off the top. All right. So the six cards we're going to have, of course, all these will make sense as we play the game. Our footprints, ants. We have. Rapids, Bushmaster Snake, Healing Herbs. Ooh, awesome. Uh, well, awesome, I guess. And uh, Faulty Kit. Hmm. All right. Um, well, those are our six cards. So basically what we do for Solitaire for the morning. Uh, oh, we were going to look at the... Oh, let's just take a look at these this way. There have been a bunch of playthroughs. Even uh, uh, Rodney Smith, uh, Watch It Played, has done a how to play. So if you're really interested in how to play, I would suggest watching that. It explains everything really well. So this is a double-sided player aid. Um, so you have resources. When it's a dark color like this on the cards, it means you gain it. When it's uh, empty color or empty of black color, then you spend it. So food, ammunition, health. And same goes for uh, the expertise. You either gain uh, jungle navigation or camping, or you have to spend it. The yellow on each card must happen. The blue is optional, and the red gives you a choice. Or in this one, you pick either or. Uh, this yellow, you must do this, uh, but the blue is optional. And so blue is optional, you have to pick a red. And that's basically how you play the game. There's numbers on the bottom. Uh, left hand side. So when it's daytime or morning, we're going to arrange the cards from lowest number to highest number. When it's nighttime, there's a slightly different setup. So what I'm going to do for this playthrough, um, so that I try not to mess it up, I get all the iconography and things kind of screwed up, so I'm not a master at this game. And strategy, please don't talk to me about strategy. I am terrible at this, so uh, I will probably die quickly. The idea is we're supposed to be moving our expedition all the way until we can get over here to El Dorado. And there's nine cards, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's hard to see because they're so uh, put together well. The graphics match perfectly along the nine cards. That's the idea. We have to try to get there without having all of our explorers killed. Of course, they die if they lose all their health. Uh, and so on. So I'm not going to explain anything. We're just going to get right into it. Those were the six cards. And uh, so we're going to be doing the morning phase. Once I recheck the rules once more, take a look at my cards, try and figure out kind of what I want to do, and we'll be right back. And we'll do the morning phase. And of course, before we get started, I should show you one more uh, card. It's the back of the one I showed you. That has the other iconography on it. So when you see this symbol, you skip. You must discard the next card in the path. This one is a swap. You may swap any two cards later in the path, should you wish to. And this is optional. You don't have to do that. Remove. Discard the last card in the path, not including the current card. Add. Draw a card from the deck and add it to the end of the path. And that can go out of numerical sequence. Advance. This means move your pawn to the next expedition card. So we want that and death. Remove one of your explorers from the game. We don't want to see that. But, like I said, I'm not very good at this game, so you're probably going to see it pretty quickly. Okay, for solitaire rules, what we do is we draw two cards off the top of the shuffled deck. Um, and they are going to immediately go out onto the path. We're going to have six cards, basically, on our morning path. So we have progress, or progress, however you like to say it. And we have a swamp. And as you can see, one is number 56 and one is number 18. So these are going to go out. Uh, so that's two cards we draw for the morning. Off, randomly off top of the deck. Of course, it's a shuffle deck. I haven't been cheating and looking at it. Now we get to play two cards along the path. And, oh man, we can get three food for footprints. Whoa. Um, so I think... I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to play eight because it's going to happen pretty early 
in the path. And then we can get rid of the next two cards, 24. Uh, Bushmaster, we can shoot him for a snake or someone's going to have to take two wounds. This is heal twice. 38 faulty kit. You know what, I think we're going to play 38 as well. It's going to show up somewhere in here. All right, we're going to take a closer look at the path uh, once we get it set out. All right, then what you do is you draw one card off the top and it's number nine, Vampire Bats. Hmm. Well, we're going to gain a food from them, but we're, we're going to be in trouble from them. But they are right here, nine. And then we get to play one more card from our hand. So if we play Ants, we're going to be able to discard the next two cards after 24. So we'd be able to get rid of Faulty Kit and the Swamp. Oh, I think that, that I think is what we want to do. This one's 10 would get rid of the next. You know what, I think we're going to play Ants, which is 24. So what that's going to mean is it's going to be played right here. And then what we do, so now we have 8, 9, 18, 24. So we're in numerical order because it's the morning phase. Now we go ahead and we, we uh, do the cards from left to right. So the first card we have is Footprints. So what we can do is we can discard the next card, which is the Vampire Bats, we can get rid of it, and that will have us progress once along the path. Or, we can go ahead and take three food. Uh, so we have an option of either, I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take three food. And maybe that's a silly thing to do, but and I have my little bucket here with all the stuff in it. Now that's gonna give us a total of six food, and that's good because at the end of every morning and the end of every evening phase, you have to spend a food token. And if you don't have it, to start losing health. What that meant though, is now we have to go to this phase, which is the vampire bats. While we do gain a food, because <laughs> you do have to do what's in yellow, we have seven food now. But now we have a choice. We either have to spend a camping expertise uh, or somebody has to lose two health. And I think we're going to go ahead and do the camping expertise. So how that works is Teddy here has a camping expertise. He's going to lose one health. So he uses his camping expertise for us to dodge the worst of the attack of the vampire bats. All right. Continuing on along. Uh, oh, and uh, I didn't advance us along the path. Silly me. So yes, the first card, of course, we... Oh no, we didn't get rid of the card. We took the food. Never mind. See, I'm already messing things up. No, we took the food. We didn't advance. But I'm looking at this card. Now we have to pick one of the four options. Uh, they're all in red. So we can, boy, we can just get mountains of food. But I think we're going to do, uh, what was that again? A navigation. We're going to spend a navigation expertise and we're going to move. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to be able to move. So our navigator is Isabel. She's going to spend her expertise, so she's going to lose one health for that to get us moving along the path to El Dorado. And then, I guess, relatively quickly, we move on to Ants. And this is actually pretty good because it says you discard a card, then you discard a card. So we discard a card, and then we discard a card. So we're going to get rid of the Swamps and the Faulty Kit, both uh, which we're not the greatest. And now somebody's going to lose a health uh, and we're going to get two food. So Roy here's got three health. So we'll have Roy lose a health and we're going to gain two more food. So we have absolute mountains of food. I can't believe how much food we have. We're just packing it in. Uh, so I think I did everything. Did I do everything correctly? Probably not. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we got any extra symbols. I think, let's hope, I'll leave notes if I screwed up and fix it in the next episode. But I think I did everything correctly. So that was our morning phase. So everyone basically has lost a health, which is not good. We only progressed once. Remember, we win the game if we can progress all the way to El Dorado. So now it's going to become evening, but let's not forget at the end of the morning phase, we have to spend a food and we have tons of it. We still have two, four, six. We still have eight food left, three ammunition. 
and we'll be going into the night phase. And I'll explain how the night phase works when we come back in our next episode. We're going to basically be playing our other three cards that are left, and we'll be drawing three more cards randomly off the top of the deck. But we are not going to be putting them in numerical order. So anyway, I know these are going to be relatively short episodes, but like I said, I want to make sure I do everything right. Uh, edited in between, and I'm likely going to get roasted. So it's probably going to be like a two, three, possibly four episode series. Maybe less. I don't know. It depends how quickly I get wiped out. Or hey, maybe we'll all win it. I don't know. I have been lucky, like I said, in the last bunch of playthroughs, so you never know. So thanks so much for watching along. This is The Lost Expedition. We're doing a solitaire with Teddy, Isabel, and Roy. I don't know how I'm going to do... It looked like we had a pretty good start. We've got eight food, which is a ton, but we did each lose a health off of our three characters. So thanks for your subscriptions, your comments, your likes. Really appreciate it. Join me the next time for the night or evening phase of The Lost Expedition.